Hydrocarbons are always considered to be non-polar molecules because they contain only carbon-carbon single bonds which have an electronegativity difference of zero and carbon-hydrogen single bonds which have an electronegativity difference of 0.4. Both of those are considered to be non-polar bonds and as a result hydrocarbons are always non-polar molecules and as a result, the only intermolecular forces that exist between hydrocarbons are the London dispersion forces. So there are two ways in which we can compare molecular co polarity and intermolecular forces in organic molecules. The first is for molecules that have the same chain length, the only difference would then be the functional group. And so we would compare the polarity of different functional groups. And here I have laid out in a table in order of increasing polarity. So as we have said, hydrocarbons are nonpolar molecules. The halogens, iodine and bromine, are also nonpolar because they have such a small electronegativity difference, those being 0 and 0 0.3 respectively, that we say that any molecule containing one of these groups is also nonpolar, and as a result, the intermolecular forces are London forces. The chlorine functional group is said to be weakly polar because it has an electronegativity difference of 0 0.5. As a result of this weak polarity, we say that the intermolecular forces that exist between molecules that contain this group are weak dipole-dipole forces. The next functional group that we look at is the carbonyl group that makes our ketones and that because of the carbon-oxygen bond which has an electronegativity difference of 1 we say that that is a polar molecule and as a result there are dipole-dipole forces next comes the ester group which is also polar and dipole-dipole forces followed by the formal group of aldehydes which is also polar which gives rise to dipole-dipole forces it's important to note here that these are arranged in order of increasing polarity, but they are all very, very similar in their polarity. The next big increase is that of a fluoro group because it has an electronegativity difference of 1.5. And as a result, we say that is a polar bond, which makes it a polar molecule, which makes those dipole-dipole intermolecular forces that are stronger than those containing the carbon-oxygen double bond. Uh, second to last, we have the hydroxyl group of alcohols, that is an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen, which is a very polar group, and as a result, we have not only dipole-dipole forces, but hydrogen bonding intermolecular forces, and so as a result, those are very strong. And finally, we have the carboxyl group of our carboxylic acids, which is our carbonyl group and the hydroxyl group, which makes this even more polar than the hydroxyl group on its own which makes these hydrogen bonding forces the strongest. So as we can see in this table, we have arranged these functional groups in order of increasing intermolecular force strength. And so we can say that substances with functional groups lower down on this table have stronger intermolecular forces and as a result, their physical properties would be affected.